Hello everybody and welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Today I have a special delivery from Channel Fireball and uh, I'm going to open this up and see what they sent us. I think this is the holiday mystery box. I think that's what they called it. I may be wrong about that, but uh, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment. That way you're entered into the giveaways we do here. Also, please check out the Magnolia Gaming affiliate links. Caldheim is live. Go ahead and get yours before it sells out. There's also a few Amazon links, but please always support the local game stores before you do Jeff Bezos. So let's see what we, what in the world is this channel? Channel Fireball, that can't be, that can't be right. Okay, just kidding guys, just kidding. Let's get to the, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. All right, they call this the holiday mystery box or holiday something box. Um, it comes with, it looks like a play mat. Let's see what we have here. This looks like, uh, that's Ronus. So we, this is from Grand Prix Las Vegas. So that's pretty cool. All right. And then we got a deck box and 100 sleeves. Always use those. And then it includes, we have a uh, life counter, a hexproof merfolk. Then we have a, oh, a completely blinged out ultra pro one. The foil soul ring. And what's in this little team bag? Let's see what we have here. Lightning bolts. And some of the plains and mountains and path to exile. A little bit of everything there, okay. All right, that's neat. So that's just the stuff we know about. And then we get in further into the box and there's stuff that has been double wrapped. These look like the mystery repack packs you get off of eBay or sketchier websites. So there's absolutely no telling what's in here. I think we're getting 24 packs total in this. So let's see what we get. Wow, okay, there's a good, good assortment of packs here. Out of this one, we get Kaladesh, Iconic Masters, Eldritch Moon, Ikoria, War of the Spark, Journey in the Nyx, Zendikar Rising, a Masters 25, an Ultimate Masters, Unstable, a Fate Reforged. Okay, these are some nice packs. I didn't ex really expect that. I don't know what I expected. It's probably It probably tells me on the listing um, what I actually get in here, but I didn't pay attention to that. I just saw it was $130, and it was a box full of goodies, so I jumped on it. And what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll price the the pack by TCG, and we'll see if the pack value adds up to what we paid for this. Like that's a core twenty one, hour of devastation. Those are kind of getting expensive. Ixalan, rivals of Ixalan, dragons of Tarkir, and an Amon kit. And I don't know how many packs. We'll 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 do a. A pack total as well to see if we did get 24 because I think that was the total we're supposed to have. Core 19, another Dominaria, Ravnica Allegiance, Theros Beyond Death, Throne of Veldrain, and another World of Spark. If you haven't got box of a, a box or two of Throne of Veldrain put back, I would recommend it because I have a feeling those are about to be out of print. And that's a really good set. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me just stack them side by side, and then, then that'll. This does seem to be 24. Um, so let me start with the cheaper packs. And then we'll get, I'll tell you what, we're just going to go, we're just going for it. I'm not trying to, trying to do any kind of organization, wasting more time. Let's just rip into this and see what happens. Let's quit messing around and trying to be fancy. We're going to get into this for the spark. You, uh... You want Teferi, you want Liliana, you want the green finale. Too bad these aren't the Japanese variety where you can get the the Tooney Planeswalkers out of it. But I do love War of the Spark. And we get an Oath of Kaya. So, first rare. Not very good. Let's go to Zendikar Rising. And this one would be a pre-release pack or a first wave because it has the pull tab for Japanese printing. I think that's how it works, so our rare should be in the front. Anti-cognition and a relic robber. I feel like my wallet just got robbed opening that pack. 
But what can I say? Moving on to Amiket. We're hoping for a invocation out of this. Opened one on my Facebook live stream the other night for uh, Dr. Kaz. And then the night before that, I opened one for his brother, Nurse Michael, out of Hour of Devastation pack. So I've gotten pretty good at hitting these things. Hour of Dev. So I'm wondering if this was worth the $129 or not. Frank and Sandy, that's a buck or so. No invocation. I think this would, be, since there's 24 packs, I think this would probably be good if you want to do like some chaos drafts and get a little, uh, a few promos, a few sleeves and life counters to go with it. That's probably what this would be good for, in my opinion. Ikoria, this set came out at the wrong time. We got a Mythic of Vadrox, Apex of Thunder. This came out in the middle of COVID, the peak, the, the peak of the panic anyways. And the set was actually delayed for a month. So it really, it really messed everything up the set. You know, that's when the organized play completely got shut down. I think Ikoria in the long run is probably a good investment. I, I like the set. I like the vibe of it. Especially the Godzilla cards. Skybind. Speaking of uh, like Theros Journey and the next stuff, does anybody, does anybody feel like the Kaldheim set that's coming up has kind of like a... A Viking Theros vibe to it. I know the full set hasn't been spoiled. But that's kind of the, the feeling I get with it. Pristine Skywise. So no big hits out of the packs yet. Rivals of Ixalan. There's a couple vampires out of the set that are worth quite a bit. There's a big dinosaur. There's a flip card or two. So let's see what we get. Protein Raider. These islands are beautiful. Ixalan had some really cool art. Too bad it was a uh, like a lull in magic. The Amiket Ixalan block. And then Dominaria came and kind of picked everything back up. And then Ravnica. And you see where we're at now. Sunbird's Invocation, a foil duress. Core 2019 up next. We want to get a Crucible Worlds out of here. A Nickel Bolas Flip Planeswalker. We'll take one of the Angels. But we got a Metamorphic Alteration and a Foil Sleep. That's beautiful, though. Very nice foiling on that. Moving right along to Dominaria. These boxes have been getting pretty expensive. I see them going, you know, the 150 plus range. They, like, ended the print run and, like, everybody was out of this. Sylvan Awakening, Cinderwind, and nothing else. It was like the an, an abrupt, we're done, no more Dominaria. And there's like a mad rush to get what boxes were left. And it drove the prices up, like, almost immediately. Here we go. We got a little Ravnica Allegiance here. Hoping for a shock land or a snake hydroid octopus crasis. We got a growth chamber guardian instead. I, th I thought this card was going to be good when the set was first released. Um, he saw a little bit of play, but fell off shortly after. We have Theros Beyond Death up next. Does anybody feel like this set's going to get a little bit better with Kaldheim coming out? Surely it has to. That's a good hit. That is a showcase. Heliod Sun Crown Mythic. And of course we get our Nyx land out of there. So that's our first good hit. We'll take it. Heading in the right direction. Throne of Eldrain. This is the one set that feels like an old school magic set to me. It has the lore, it has the fairy tale, it has the beautiful artwork. This is the first time we got the showcase frame, the first time we got the collector booster box. 
This was a huge turning point in Magic, in my opinion. And we got Castle Lockthwain. That is a good castle hit. So, and I feel like in Commander, all these castles will, you know, they'll always have a home there. So they'll always carry some value, especially the, uh, the black and green one. We're back with another War of the Spark pack. Didn't expect to see another one of these. That Grazer was a dollar at one point. I don't know if he still is. That guy kind of looks like a Jeweled Lotus as a Golem. Ashiok. It's probably the best uncommon. And a no. Nope. Nope. Just going to move right along from that. Core 21. This does have the full tab. So our rare will be in the front. And it is a Volcanic Salvo. I feel like I'm taking an absolute pounding on these packs. I don't think there's any way we're going to get close to our value back unless we hit something really silly in one of these bigger packs. Let's see, we got a couple of Masters packs, Fate Reforged, another Dominaria, Eldritch Moon. So we'll do it. We'll do it like this. Okay. Get a little bit of order to it now. Dominaria. Who do we want to hit out of this? We want five mana Teferi. Is that who we want? What other good cards came out of this set? I know we had the lands. They're not terribly valuable, but they're good. I wish we were actually getting the lands that were in this set in Kaldheim instead of more. There we go. Instead of more uh, pathways, personally. Happily take that land. Eight Reforged. These were originally had Big Daddy Oogie in it. And this pack is crimped, buddy. It's like sealed, oddly. Does anybody else see how that pack is sealed? I don't know if it's just me or it just felt extremely odd. But there's not much else in the set. Uh, I think Monastery Minor and Ugin are about. Crooks of Fate used to be worth a. I forgot they sneak fetch lands into the land slot. It could either be the tap lands that gain you a life, or it can be a fetch land. And in this case, it was a fetch land. Windswept Teeth. Didn't see that coming at all. Pleasant, pleasant surprise right there. Really glad to see that, because so far, these packs have really hurt my face. I'm not going to say holy potatoes once this entire video. And that makes me sad. Peace of mind, chilling grass, scour the laboratory, and the devils. Okay. All right. Let's hope for an Emrakul or a Liliana out of that pack. Now we got a little bit of unstable. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but these cards, um, to me, smell like big red gum. I don't know if anybody else noticed that or if it's I'm just weird. My nose doesn't work properly. So let's see what we get. Better than one. Man, these are sexy. These lands are so nice. Sundering Fork, Division Table, and a Fairy Spy token. Gonna do some Kaladesh now. This set, the boxes of this are probably about $250 a piece now. Um, they're getting pretty ridiculous. And it what's driving the price is the fact that you can get the Soul Ring and the Mana Crypt inventions out of it. Masterpiece cards. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They're, they're two of the most beautiful cards ever made, period. In my opinion. So that's really what's pushing the price of those boxes up. And I don't see them slowing down. Especially because, you know, the the other expedit or the, not the expeditions, but the other inventions. Lottery cards, masterpieces, whatever you want to refer to them as, are pretty valuable as well. Is it Chemister? That's a bummer. Then we have Iconic, and we're going to end it up with Ultimate. And this is going to be a very sad video for me. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I made you sit through this absolute bloodbath for me. Supreme Verdict. But... Maybe it will influence you one way or the other to buy or not buy these. I think, in my opinion, the only reason to buy this is if you want to do a Chaos Draft and you want some other random accessories with it. Let's see what we... Well, that's a nice surprise. Holy potatoes. 
and a ruined halo. And don't sleep on the Bellfire Dragon. When this set came out, this card crashed so hard. But in the, the last year or so, it has quietly crept up in value. I think the non-foil version of this is about 20 bucks now, so I'm not sure where this sits. I don't think the foil multiplier is much on this set. But last pack, decent hit. Thank you guys for joining me. This is a Channel Fireball Holiday Mystery Box. It was fun. You live and you learn. And then you get foil Bellfire Dragons. See you guys next time.